So as PC or laptop users, it's a great time. The new chipsets from Intel, which looks pretty nice. Uh, stuff from Qualcomm is coming that seems pretty exciting. And let's not forget AMD because they have something pretty cool in the brand new ASUS ZenBook 14 OLED. Now, as you know, ASUS makes some really stylish laptops and this laptop is no slouch. All black design, some nice clean colors and lines. It looks really nice and slick in any position you put it at. And the first thing you're noticing is that display. It's a 14 inch OLED display. It's 400 nits, uh, great display. Cyclops looks absolutely awesome on, on this. And as you guys can tell, or maybe not, I'm a big Cyclops fan. He is my favorite X-Men. Yes, not Wolverine, not Gambit, uh, not Professor X, no one else, doesn't matter. Cyclops is the man. He stands on business. I am so glad X-Men 97 has put him in his status of glory, but I digress. Anyway, so as I said, the display looks great and it's really, really solid, but I like some of the features you find on this laptop. Very practical, simple feature. It has a physical um, uh, camera lock for its Windows Hello camera, which is great. So it allows you to lock the camera, make sure it's secure, all that fun stuff. I also like the fact that the, the laptop can actually open up to 180 degrees. So you can lay it flat on a table, real comfortable, or you can also just hold it up like this. And the design allows for that with a very smooth hinge. Now the keyboard is nice. I like the functionality of the keyboard, how well it works. I also like the trackpad. It's pretty one, pretty smooth trackpad all around. And I think it just does a really good job at it. In terms of ports, we have all the ports you need, a full USB, uh, a, two USB type C's, one that supports uh, display port, HDMI 2.1. So the latest in terms of just connectivity and ports. Now, as a laptop, you're looking at a couple of things, power performance, and then also battery life. So let's start with power for performance. This has the Ryzen um, AI7 chipset. This is the Ryzen 7 8840HS, for those who want to know, and a 780M Radeon graphics card. In terms of performance, it's all on screen there, Time Spy. We also have, of course, Night uh, Radar. We also have our Cinebench R23 scores for those who like to see the scores. But for me, I want to just show you what that means because I like to game on any device I use. And that's what I'm going to do here with this one. Street Fighter played really well, um, plugged in over 60 frames per second, unplugged, it's about 55 frames per second. Now, Shadow of the Tomb Raider also uh, didn't play as well, uh, but it still got to about 50s in terms of uh, frame rate. So that was still pretty cool. Now, another big thing is what Microsoft wants to do with chipsets like this. It's all about AI. And this has the Microsoft Copilot button right there. You press that button, of course, brings up Copilot, where you can do a lot of those cool AI things, create a dog in space or whatever you want to do. But the idea is that you can do this on board, on system. Now, I didn't spend much time with that because I really haven't done that. So I'm not gonna lie to you and tell you that I did a lot of AI work on this, but I can tell you that it does support that and it does support it fairly well. Now, in terms of battery life, um, Asus claims 12 hours of battery life. In my experience, it's about 11 hours or so, which is still pretty good and solid. I do like the fact that it ran really well and it wasn't burning up my, uh, you know, my hands or my lap while using this laptop. Now, in terms of the audio performance, you have Harman Kardon speakers, which you heard while we're actually playing Street Fighter, which actually sounded pretty good. And I just love the overall feel of this laptop. It's so nice and like nimble. You move it around in different ways, it's easy to use. Now, in terms of specs, 
you're looking at 16 gigabytes of RAM, 512 gigabytes of storage, and guess how much this laptop costs? This is only $800. So you pick it up right now at Walmart uh, for that price point. This is a great starting price for laptops. This is what I like to see, the pricing getting lower, more affordable with better features, having an OLED display. It may not be 3K, it's just 1080p, but it's still a lovely looking display. That's what I want to see from manufacturers, and I love this uh, laptop for that aspect. And I think a lot of people will like it too. So if you guys have any questions or any comments, oh, I did I forget to mention, sorry. This laptop also is a touchscreen. You kind of saw me touching it around, but you get that idea. Again, all that for $800 is pretty cool. So any questions, any comments about this, you want to pick it up, use our link down below. This is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment. And yes, Cyclops is the man.